I go to Stanborough Park Church and I was born in Romania. And this project started uh, last year, somewhere in June. And it was that moment of my life where you inquire yourself what is the future, where towards, if what you're doing is enough or you're just living passively. So um, I wouldn't say that I was in a depression, but it's that moment when you realize that's, that's the, where you're going towards. And if you don't step up, if you don't wake up, that's where you're gonna get. So um, I was just thinking back in my childhood at all those moments who um, were happy moments, you know, all those things that make childhood sweet. Uh, and I can remember all the playtime. I can remember, you know, all the good moments with my friends. And I remember after I got baptized when I was 17, I was sent to um, to train as a Pathfinder counselor. And that was one week of camp. And I remember how that camp made me feel. I can't remember everything I've learned there, but I still remember the feeling. And it was in that moment when I said, that's what I want to do for those children in Romania. I want to create these memories for them. So this is where the idea of a summer camp came. And we just um, put the project together. We presented to friends, family, we presented to the church. And that's how it started with a summer camp last year for 100 children from an orphanage and from families um, with low income. After we finished uh, the summer camp, and that was most like a family project, uh, we came back here, we, you know, church started again, school started, and uh, people asked me if we're gonna do it again next year. And that was something that we didn't really thought about. Uh, it was not really in our plans. But as people was asking, we, we thought it might be a good idea to actually start working towards next next project. And uh, that's how I've contacted uh, Mira first. Uh, she's a good friend and she always told me that she she's praying that something will come in her life where she can do something more. Uh, so when I told her about the charity, she was so happy. She was the first one. She said, I mean, let's do it. Uh, and then I've contacted Annalisa. She's a great cook and she's a great event coordinator so I, I thought she's uh, really skillful so we would, it would be really nice to have her in the team uh, and she was so happy to do it even that she's already trustee for uh, one vision project she was happy to to work with us as well and then i've contacted george uh, i know george from the um, pathfinder adventure clubs he's really skillful with the technology and all that stuff so i said uh, you know he would really be a great addition to the team and he said yes so that's where we are four trustees uh, running uh, families in need so in January we started fundraising and we started to do different events where we can uh, raise money for our next projects and um, last year when we did the summer camp we did a shoebox project uh, where children here prepared uh, empty shoeboxes and they put inside gifts, you know, whatever they wanted, toys, clothes, stationary items, and that we gave to a child when we finished the summer camp. So this year we thought, how about if we can do this project even better and do uh, prepare school bags with school supplies in. So when children start school in September, they have a, a, a basic uh, basics covered. And uh, this is how we've started to fundraise. We've uh, imported 300 school bags directly from the supplier in China and we bought the rest of the supplies and we've sent it over to Romania and we distributed after the summer camp and so, so it would be the second project and the third project that we are doing is adopt a family so we identified um, at this moment we have four families that are in extreme situations that we've decided to uh, support so the idea is to find a family that really needs support and find a family could afford 
um, even you know whatever they can um, monthly or even if it's a one-time payment uh, whatever they can that will go specifically for that family so these three projects they were mainly done for Romania even that we did send some uh, school bags we also sent some school bags in Bulgaria but we really wanted to do something for our community here and um, what we we are thinking is to work with a couple of schools and identify some families that are in need here and that we can support as well and also try to develop a lunch club where children can come for activities and lunch during half term and holidays. Yeah, so we have our website that's www.familiesinneed.org and people can choose if they want to donate for a specific um, project, either it's summer camp, uh, the school bags or adopt a family. Or they can donate directly in our um, account, bank account. Uh, we have Just Giving, very specifically for the school bags. And uh, we also collect clothes. We collect um, shoes, uh, school supplies, bags. Uh, we are sending over um, these things uh, somewhere at the beginning of November. So if anybody have uh, unwanted, pre-loved things they would like to donate, uh, to get in touch with me and we can arrange collection, especially if they live locally.